السلام علیکم دس ویڈیو ایکسپلینس مینوفیکچرنگ کاسٹ ان فائنینشیل اسٹیٹمنٹس وی ول فسٹ ایکسپلین دا ڈفرینس بٹوین اے مرکنڈائزنگ اینڈ اے مینوفیکچرنگ انکم اسٹیٹمنٹ نیکسٹ وی ول ٹاک اباؤٹ دی کمپوننٹس آف کاسٹ آف گڈ سولڈ دین وی ول ٹاک اباؤٹ دا کاسٹ آف گڈ سولڈ شیڈیول اینڈ فائنلی وی ول ٹاک اباؤٹ دا مرکنڈائزنگ اینڈ مینوفیکچرنگ بیلنس شیٹ بٹ ان دا بگننگ آف دس سیشن آئی وڈ لائک ٹو تھینک مائی سن محمد عبد اللہ خان ہو گفٹیڈ می این آئی پیڈ الانگ ود نیسیسری ایسیسریز ود آؤٹ وچ میکنگ دیز ویڈیوز وڈ ناٹ ہیو بین پاسبل آئی وڈ لائک ٹو تھینک نبیہ خان فار ہیلپنگ می آؤٹ ان پریپیرنگ دیز آسم سلائڈس آئی وڈ آلسو لائک ٹو تھینک مائی وائف سمینہ صدیقی who helped in compiling information from various sources for this video. Let us first talk about the difference between manufacturing and merchandising companies. The financial statements of a manufacturer are very similar to those of a merchandiser. The principal difference between the financial statements occur in two places. First, the cost of goods sold. Section in the income statement and the current asset section in the balance sheet. Let us first talk of about the components of cost of goods sold. The components of cost of goods sold differ for merchandising and manufacturing companies. A merchandiser adds the beginning merchandise inventory to the cost of goods purchased and subtracts the ending merchandise inventory to get the cost of goods sold. A manufacturer adds the beginning finished goods inventory to the cost of goods manufactured and subtracts the ending finished goods inventory to get the cost of goods sold. So the difference is in a merchandiser we have a merchandising inventory, for a manufacturer we have finished goods inventory. For a merchandiser it is cost of goods purchased but for a manufacturer it is the cost of goods manufactured. And if you can remember, the cost of goods manufactured has three components, direct material, direct labor, and manufacturing overhead. A merchandiser will subtract the ending merchandise inventory, while a manufacturer subtracts ending finished goods inventory to get the cost of goods sold. Let us see how the cost of goods section looks like. Please note that the only difference in the income statement of merchandising and manufacturing companies is in the cost of goods sold section. The other sections of an income statement are similar for merchandisers and manufacturers. For a merchandiser, we have beginning merchandise inventory while for a manufacturer it is finished goods inventory. We add the cost of goods purchased in the case of merchandising company. For a manufacturing company we have cost of goods manufactured. Cost of goods available for sale is same for both the companies and then we subtract the ending merchandise inventory for a merchandising business and we subtract the finished goods inventory for manufacturing business. At the beginning of the year, the company may be having incomplete finished goods. In managerial accounting, we call them work in process. The company will first convert the work in process into finished goods in the current year. 
then it will incur the manufacturing cost that includes direct material direct labor and manufacturing overhead the sum of one and two gives us the total cost of work in process third at the end of the year there may be some incomplete finished goods we call them ending work in process inventory and the ending work in process inventory is subtracted from the total cost of work in process to get the cost of goods manufactured let us now talk about the cost of goods manufactured schedule you can see over here we start with the beginning work in process to this we add direct material direct labor manufacturing overhead and this gives the total of direct material direct labor and manufacturing overhead gives us a total of total manufacturing cost to this we add the beginning work in process and we get the total cost of work in process when we subtract the ending work in process we get the cost of goods manufactured so you need to note the difference between the total manufacturing cost and the cost of goods manufactured the balance sheet of a merchandising company shows just one category of inventory and we call this as merchandising inventory while the balance sheet of a manufacturer may have three types of inventories finished goods work in process and raw material if you look at finished goods inventory it is what merchandising inventory has in a merchandising balance sheet generally manufacturing companies list their inventories in the order of their liquidity don't forget that the steps in the accounting cycle for a merchandiser are same as of a manufacturer both make adjusting entries prior to the preparation of financial statements the adjusting and closing entries are same I strongly believe that we learn more by solving an example rather than hearing about the concept so let's do an example on manufacturing cost in financial statements we have a company named good health company and they have incurred the following cost we have for uh, the year december uh, year 2020 and they ask us to prepare the cost of goods manufactured schedule we have just now talked about that we start with the beginning work in process and the beginning work in process is 700 to this we add direct material and the beginning direct material is 200 and the raw material purchased is also 200 so the total raw material available is 400 from this we subtract the ending raw material that is 100 and this gives us the direct material used so that is equal to 300 then we add up the direct labor and direct labor is 1500 to this we add the different manufacturing overhead like indirect labor and indirect labor is 150 
सॉरी इज सिक्स हंड्रेड फैक्ट्री यूटिलिटीज इज फाइव हंड्रेड फैक्ट्री मशीनरी रेंट इज टू हंड्रेड फैक्ट्री मैनेजर्स सैलरी इज थ्री हंड्रेड डेप्रिसिएशन फैक्ट्री बिल्डिंग इज वन हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी वी हैव इन डायरेक्ट मटीरियल एज वन हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी इंश्योरेंस फॉर द फैक्ट्री इज वन हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी देन वी हैव प्रॉपर्टी टैक्सेज फैक्ट्री बिल्डिंग दैट इज फोर हंड्रेड एंड वी मेक द टोटल and the total is 2410 when we add direct material direct labor and manufacturing overhead we get the total manufacturing cost and that is 4210 when we add the beginning work in process we get the total cost of work in process that is 4910 and then we will subtract the ending work in process and that is 500 so the total cost of goods manufactured is 4410 we have not included administrative expenses we have not included sales commission delivery expenses sales revenue in our many cost of goods manufactured schedule because these cost are not related with the factory these are administrative cost let us go to the preparation of the income st statement from based upon this information but don't forget this number cost of goods manufactured this is of relevance when we prepare the income statement on the next slide so the sales revenue in the, in the schedule is 12000 cost of goods sold is we have the finished goods inventory and beginning is 1000 then the cost of goods manufactured is 4410 so this gives us the cost of goods available for sale for uh, 5410 and from this we will subtract the finished goods ending finished goods inventory of 1100 and we get the cost of goods sold as 4310 when we subtract this from the sales it gives us the gross profit as 7690 to this we add the operating expenses and these are administrative expenses of 250 we have sales commission of 90 and we have delivery expenses of 170 so the total operating expenses are 510 and when we subtract operating expenses from gross profit we get net income of 7180 let us prepare the balance sheet now and we will just be preparing the balance sheet a partial balance sheet where we have the current assets and you can see we have cash as 1000 we have short term investments 2000 accounts receivable 2000 then when we have inventories we have finished goods inventory or the ending finished goods inventory of 1100 we have ending work in process of 500 and we have 
raw material or ending raw material of 100 and this gives us 1700 and then finally we have prepaid expenses and these are 3000 so that's how we get the total current assets as 9700 so this completes our session on manufacturing cost in financial statements remember effective questioning brings insight which fuels curiosity which cultivates wisdom if you have any question regarding this session then please don't hesitate to ask in the comment box or by email and inshallah i will reply you back happy learning